we are very special in the creation of Lord God. There are so many species of life in this world and also in the upper worlds, astral and causal beings. But it is only human being who has given the power to act, to make or mar one's life. And that the man has to act in some knowledge. When you are to do something, you must know what we are doing and what is the use of that work which you do and how to do. That all these ins and outs are to be there known to us and then only we will be able to decide and what we have decided then how to complete it, how to accomplish it. That is really working and after we have worked it out that is really useful, really going on along all our expectations as we had expected out of it. What a great subject is there. No doubt but all the other species of life are free of it. Naturally, what they are to live in this world, how to live in this world, they go along automatically. If there are some chicken of hen, you go to them, they will look at you friendly. They will not be really afraid of you. But rather they feel that you will be protective and that will save you of any danger. But when they will see some kite or a cat, at once they will become alarmed. Who has told them? Who has educated them? There was no such like language. Previously we may have, may have felt like that when the hen hatches eggs and is nursing the chicken, perhaps she might be telling. But now there are some kind of machinery we may say or circumstances that the eggs of the hen are hatched with some kind of specific heat which is continuously given to the eggs and the chicken come out of the eggs after they are ready. Then who is their teacher? Who is to tell them? Nobody is there. And how to fly? What is their food? They will automatically pick up what is good to them and will eat the same quantity which is really suitable for them and then they will change over to other one. There is a great sense in them basically and if do two kinds of chickens are there head at a time, maybe some are of hen and others of the ducks. Then on the dry ground they will live and act just in the same way. But when they will happen to go to a uh, pond of water, at once their style of life will change. That the chicken which are from the duck, they will at once jump into the water, begin to swim, begin to dive and begin to really enjoy their life. And those chicken which are from the hen, they will be just uh, sitting outside. They will not dare to just even uh, put their nail of uh, nail even in the water. And rather they will cry out for others that they have drowned, drowned and drowned. They will really be very much shouting. Now who has told the chicken of hen that water is not for you, you are not to go into it. It is dangerous for you and it is really dangerous for them. But the ducklings, they at once jump in. Who told them that this is your life and you can enjoy it? You are made for this purpose that you have to dive. And how to dive you know very well. And then how to come out of it and how to enjoy this water life you know. And that how to then fly also. All this is also known without any teachings that nature is really definite and very much complete and perfect. If you sow the seed of a mango tree, it will begin to grow as mango tree. The leaves will be alike and also then there will be flower and there will be fruit 
एट दैट मैगोटी विल मेक मैगोज हु हैज टोल्ड एंड ट्रेन द मैगोटी हाउ टू मेक द लीव्स हाउ टू ग्रो फर्दर एंड हाउ टू मेक फ्लावर्स एंड हाउ टू मेक द फ्रूट दैट इज ए समथिंग ए सीक्रेट बट इट इज नॉट सीक्रेट इट इज हु गोइंग ऑन any other fruit tree uh, also goes on, go on work in the same way as they are designed by god according to the seed the land is the same it is the same what is the same sun is the same but produce of every plant is different from each other <coughs> that is a secret which who, who is to know they cannot know this sense is not given to them that they can know what they are doing and if they can change anything it is not there with them but man has been given this thought is that he to know everything and man had tried also what is uh, the highest peak of the mountain mount everest to that they have also tried and successfully reached also some of them and they could also know the deepest depth of any ocean and so many other things even up to the moon what is moon what is over there the man has tried to know because it is the basic lifestyle of the man some things have been given to the man the first thing is that we are to live forever this is also given to the man that we want to live forever and who is to live forever you cannot live physically forever it is your soul who is there who is to live forever and we feel like that we are not to be suffering any time we are to enjoy forever no worry no problem no suffering no disease no death and we want to enjoy why it is like that it is due to our life which is there which is of enjoyment and this is not of suffering and why we are suffering is there no arrangement for the enjoyment but we have not found that life which is enjoyment as in bible and as scriptures it has been very much clearly proclaimed that in him was the life a life was the light of the man in him in god there is a life and what kind of life life of perfection what you want no work no duty no responsibility but everything is there for you you are not for anybody everything and everybody is there for you to serve and to take care and to respect and to honor you and you are to use everything whatever you like and also give away anything to anybody you like nobody is there to ask you who are you where from are you why you have come over here what for there can be no question to anybody ever over there where we are to live in our own life so life is with god and in the kingdom of god so this uh, desire which is given to us there is something special and god is not really in any way uh, 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 some kind of cruel to us that he has created hunger in us but has not created food and he has created a thirst for us but he has not created water for us but there is a law that there is food for the hungry and there is a water for the thirsty and there are some kind of living beings for which there is no availability of water and they live without water you would have seen uh, some uh, worms which are there in the wood there is no water for them but they do not need water they do not need air even but if you see their body their body is full of water pulpy where from water has come in their body and that they are going along living there is some kind of life they have been given and 
Similarly, the, the arrangement has also been made for them at that the uh, living beings of water, they do not need air, but they will die without water. If we are uh, in the water, we will die because we cannot live without air. So, God has uh, provided different kinds of species of life to live in different kinds of atmospheres and provisions and those provisions have been made over there as they go along. This is the great perfection or great law of love of God. But why it is the man who is really suffering? The man has not really known the way of life. And in the Bible and other scriptures, the answer to our question has been given that when we are without God and without His kingdom, then we are suffering because our life is not designed to live only with the provisions of this world. As in Bible, as it has been explained, that man does not live only on the bread or water of this world, but with each word which emanates from God. With each word which emanates from God, which comes from God. That is also our lifestyle and that is most essential lifestyle. And although we do not note it, we do not hear it, we do not come in contact with it, but still is working, still is working. And that when we are awakened as soul, and when we come in contact with that word God re reverberating in us, then we are really conscious of it, and then our soul is connected with it, and then soul gets the lifestyle, otherwise it was lying dead. As in all the people of this world, there is soul. What is soul really? This is our own self, which is all consciousness, all light, all life, all knowledge, all wisdom, and having the same kind of life as that of God. And who is asking for its own life? And till you do not find that status of perfection of God, you will not be able to satisfy yourself with anything of this world. That what does the profit a man if he gains possession of the whole of the world? Possessions of the whole of the world but loses one's own soul. This is an information or a question given to the man that could you find satisfaction from this world? We find that the kings, emperors and rich people, rich people, strong people, scientists, engineers, doctors, but they are also suffering. And we could find nobody in this world who could enjoy without the connection of God and kingdom of God. So this is a must. And that if we are to end our suffering, then we are to be perfect like God. It is not that you are to be perfect like a king or emperor or some kind of general, colonel, marshal or some other status of the world because nobody can enjoy it. This is not recommendable. So all the masters have found where lies really our life, where we cannot feel any difficulty, any problem, any deficiency, any suffering, any disease. And that is their solution of every kind of problem. And not only solution of problems, but yeah, all the blessings are also in plenty. What kind of blessings, what kind of enjoyment, what kind of grace, what kind of peace, which is there with God in His kingdom, and that we are to enjoy. But you would question that how it can be possible when we live in this world, that we can enjoy what is from God. If you are in the wilderness, how can you enjoy the comforts of your home when there is nobody with you from your family? In the wilderness you cannot 
have any help from anybody. There is nobody to help you. But this is a great, wonderful arrangement of God that God has sent us here for some purpose that you have to go to this world uh, as my representative to work for me and that you are not to worry, you are not to have any suffering, no problem, no worry, no disease, no death. But you are also to release all the living beings of this world. All the living beings, not only the human beings, but all living beings of this earth, even the trees and plants, nature, etc., which is also suffering, has also to be helped by you, and that as I am fully competent, perfect God in my holy heavens, and I could create everything wonderful, and nobody is there in my kingdom who is suffering any kind of suffering. All are enjoying the same kind of perfect life as I am enjoying myself. Everything is in me, everything is myself, and connected added to me. I am the ocean, and all are my drops, and all are to enjoy. What condition of existence of life here is there in my kingdom? The same you are to go along that you are, I am God here and you are God there in for the lower three worlds where the native power has been given authority to rule. And I know, God knows that if I am light, the native power is our darkness. If I am peace, then the native power is only disturbance. If I am love, the native power is totally disturbance. And that if you uh, give something to somebody, the net power is only snatch everything from any, everybody. I am only giver, and net power is only snatcher. It is an opposite to me. And my children who are belonging to me, they have my life, standard of life. And if they are living in this opposite of circumstances, they will not be able to live and they will always have to suffer, they cannot die even. Because nothing can die, nothing dies. Soul is eternal in everybody. Changes of bodies are there, which we can be called death, otherwise we are living as soul forever. There was no time in this world, in the, in the creation of Lord God, when we were not existing. And now also we are existing, not as body, but as soul. And there will also be no time in the future that we will not be existing because that we are of the same essence as that of God. God is defined to be unchangeable permanence. And we are also the drop of that great ocean of light, life, knowledge, wisdom. And we are also unchangeable permanence. And that we are to live that life from whom we are and how we can have it. That is also a great wonder, wonders, some kind of arrangement of God that all those uh, 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 provisions which are there in the kingdom of God, with God, that He is perfect over there. We are also given the same kind of arrangements and God Himself is there also with us. And there is nothing lacking with which is that God is perfect and something is missing with us that we could not be or we cannot be perfect. Now, when all these arrangements have been given to us and God Himself is there in all of us, everybody has been proclaimed to be temple of God. And it is question to all of us, no is not? that you are the temple of the living God and that the Spirit of God liveth in you and that we are not known. And if we would have known it, then we would have really enjoyed His services. If the Father is there with the child and is standing on the back, child, child will suffer, even the Father is there. 
But when the child will come to know the father at once, he will turn back and will cling to the neck of the father and father will also hug him and embrace him and both will be enjoyed. And kingdom of God is also within us. Kingdom of God cometh not by observation, it is within you. What for the purpose? There is some purpose. If you have been given eyes, these are for some purpose. If you have been given feet, these are for, for some purpose. If there is any machinery inside or outside, nothing is superfluous. Everything has its purpose. And if any machinery may be outside or inside begins to uh, give some trouble is not working in proper order, they are difficulty. Whole of our system, whole of our system, there is difficulty. Everything is to be in proper order and working. If we lose anything, we are handicapped. If we lose eyes or one hand or a, any leg or any foot, we are handicapped and we are not really able to live. Uh, 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 in normal way our life. But if we lose our God and kingdom of God which is also part of our existence, then what will happen to us? Will not we feel handicapped? Will not we feel some kind of loss or some troubles or problems or sufferings due to loss of God and kingdom of God? This we could not understand as yet. And that is the reason that this world has not been able to help us. Although there is a great development of science, technology, and so many other pathies are there, medicines are there, medical science is there. And that no doubt so many things have been created for us. And we are having so many things. But these two things, Three things are still missing. What is that? Suffering. And that these things are still stronger to us. Suffering, problems, worries, diseases and death. And peace and enjoyment is missing. That we cannot feel peace and enjoy. <coughs> because if we are thirsty, we will have to drink water. There is no other alternative. If we are hungry, it is only that food will satisfy us. So all these things of this world may be there, plenty with us. The kingdoms are full of everything. But still they are suffering, their diseases, problems, their worries are there and they are dying also. The children of kings are also going along, families of kings are also going along. Rich people are also some, even the doctors you see, they are also sick, their families are also sick, they are also dying. As we are suffering, they are also suffering. Because all this, uh, what is uh, we need, we are needing to be free of disease or problems or suffering uh, is not in the hands of anybody in this world. It is uh, the arrangement of God and kingdom of God and in Bible and other scriptures, it has been very clearly told that now the tabernacle of God is with the man and he will dwell with the man and his men will dwell with him. That both will have intimate relation with each other. And then he will be your God. He will say, I am responsible for you, my dear. And don't worry, and God will wipe out all your tears. Because we had been suffering without him as a child, when he lost from the parents, is only to suffer, is only to cry. But when he finds father and mother, then they really take the child into their lap and into their heart and wipe out all their tears and then say, as God says, my dear, now there will be no more sorrows, no more pains, no more miseries, no more diseases, no more death. This I guarantee. All these things were of the past when I was not with you.
but now I am with you, my kingdom is with you, and I have all these arrangements that you are not to suffer any kind of suffering, any kind of problem, worry, or disease is no more for you. But every kind of blessings, enjoyment, peace, or whatever you like to enjoy, ocean to ocean of supplies are there with me in my kingdom that you enjoy forever. You are on, not only to enjoy yourself, but you have to share with the others. This is my order to you. It is not that I give allowance for it, but I order you that you are not to use my blessings only for me because you have not been sent as your own individual self but you have been sent in this world to eradicate all the sufferings, problems and worries from the, all the three worlds in the Bible also it has been told that he who overcomes to him I will give powers to rule over the nations what kind of ruling? It's not a kind of worldly rulers that they rule with rod and we have to be afraid of their control and we will have to maintain their laws and orders. But when in the home the father is ruling, mother is ruling, they control but with all love. They don't need anything for themselves but they control the children for their good that they may not do anything wrong which may be of a trouble or problem to them and everything good, what is best that is first offered to the children first given to the children and then if there is left for the parents they will use as if it is not left still they will be very happy that their children had been served and they are happy and they are satisfied and that their satisfaction, that they love the children more than they love themselves. This is also the same case, case with our Heavenly Father, that He loves us more than He loves Himself. So any suffering, any problem, any worry, any disease, if there is, He will like to have for Himself. But never He will feel like that any of the children are suffering. And he has arranged like this. But we are to know all this arrangement. And what will happen if we know this arrangement? Then we will be able to feel like using all these arrangements. And naturally we will be free of every kind of suffering, disease, problem. And we will be able to enjoy all highest kind of life as perfect as that of God. In scriptures, it is very clearly written that you are to be perfect. What kind of perfection? Like that of your Father God who is perfect in the holy heaven and you are to be perfect over here because those arrangements are there here with you as He has provided. Then it is not that I have told you this. All the masters who came, I have gone through so many scriptures of uh, the worldly uh, of the world from any masters of any religion and they tell the same thing because God had been speaking through all masters as he spake through the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began so when one man is speaking from here then from other place other place other place the message will be the same. So when God is, who is unchangeable oneness, speaks to any human body, He gives the same message. And it is the same since the world began. The first clicker of the man in this world was also given this message. First the message was arranged and then the man was provided in this world to take birth because the man was to live in this light of knowledge and wisdom, provisions of God. That if you are to send your child to some school, what you are to see if there are teachers, if there are element of education, if there are all other things which are needed, or there, then only you will send your child 
her to the school so first school is made first teachers are made first books are made all arrangements are made then the child is any child is admitted into school because what for the purpose the child is to be admitted to school if that is not there then what is the meaning what is use of sending the child over there that he will not find anything what was needed by for the child in the same way god had no doubt made all other species of life but at that time man was not there and therefore he was also not here no master was here because the things were going along but after some time it felt like that these three words lower words the physical actor and causal they are really suffering all living beings are very much in tragic condition and that what is their fate what is their mistake or they have done something wrong that they are to be punished and therefore he had many that these uh, all three words are also to be no more in any kind of problem worry or suffering or disease or death and they are no more to suffer and every living being is to enjoy and then he created the man that god created man in his own image in his own image made he him made he him that if you can make and yourself then you can say i had made my own self now i am not one and now i am two this is not in the, uh, our competency but god has his competency and he has made all of us in the same pattern in the same authority in the same competency as he himself is not less than him only something has been added upon us which is if this vector out of vector which male or female male and female has been added upon us later on and this is the main difficulty with us that we could not awaken our own self and could not see ourselves as god as perfect as god and god in us and as the kingdom of god and all provisions and that we may enjoy but we have only awakened ourselves and kept ourselves at level of physical body and we are connected with this world which is valley of death we are ever rules with sufferings and every body has to suffer there is no escape no one can escape. no one can escape there is no provision in the history of the world ever since it is available this world is all full of suffering and suffering and that there is no time as there had been and there will also be no time that with the outer elements of the world and the outer physical body life you will be able to be free of diseases problems and that and will also have to uh, will have enjoyment and peace and some kind of a good life This is not possible because it is not provided but uh, there is provision in kingdom of god and god which is also part of our own existence in the physical body if this is my finger this is my thumb this is my hand why i say it is my because it is connected with my body uh, all parts of my body are mine are me are me i can say then what is outside that me what is inside that is also you you say my heart my lungs my kidney or my some other inner system are there and there something wrong and in same way you can say my kingdom and my god because that is connected to your body your god is you god not even you are god but you god and the kingdom is also you kingdom you are connect not even you are kingdom but it is a you kingdom because it is part of our body and what is part of our body that is us and what is lying i said put the tissue over here i can say it is my tissue this i can say it is my 
But all the what is there, me that I have to say, me. But there is still some difference that we say this is my hand, this is my head, this is my legs, this is my feet, this is my body. That is also true. This is not you. This belongs to you. You are keeping it. And where are you? That is to be found. That is a, no doubt a secret as yet. But secret is only secret as long as we do not discover it. When we discover it, it is no more secret. It is just open. And those masters who may be called masters or wise persons who could discover the secret, they, they could come in contact with their great self, God self and after the kingdom of God, then they had claimed, I and my father are one. And that we are perfect, and it has been ordained to all of us, be ye perfect. Not tomorrow, but today, because it's all here with you now provided. And what is now with you, you can have it now. What will be given to you tomorrow, that you may enjoy tomorrow. So what is there, God and kingdom of God, it is with us that any person who takes birth in this world, first God and kingdom of God is arranged. And then body is being made inside the body of the mother, and when the, body, uh, the child comes out of the body of the mother, it comes with God and kingdom of God, and after two days there had been no exception to it. Not even a single exception that any child could be born in whom there is no God, no kingdom of God. <coughs> even to small children, maybe children of five years or four years, uh, they have got also sound and light. And when they are given, they say that I have seen and I have heard. Although they see and hear, even if they are helped or given this connection when they are born, but they will not be able to explain you because at that stage of life, they cannot speak, they cannot express anything from what they have found, but they have also. And this is a law that no man can be there without God and kingdom of God. <coughs> they may have their eyes, they may have or may not have nose, they may have legs or ears. So many things can be missing from the body. But this is 100% sure that nobody can take birth without God and kingdom of God, without this manifestation of God in the form of light and sound. So this is the most important part. And when we leave this physical body, and we leave astral body, causal body, support causal body, and we lose everything of this world and everything of the higher world, the astral causal law, support causal, we do not suffer, rather we enjoy. That if there is any arrangement that we can live without our physical body, can there be any difficulty or problem to us? And that we are allowed to live without physical body, it's only this physical body who is problem. This body is there sometimes hungry, sometimes thirsty, sometimes it is feeling hot, sometimes feeling cold. And if you go to the market, there are millions of these things. The markets are full. What for? Only to satisfy the body. That body needs all the doctors, all the engineers, all the nail cutters, all these everything which is there. And if body is no more, you need nothing. And there is no death to us if there is any body diseased. It is physical body which is suffering of any kind of disease. And no doubt there are also some problems and worries and diseases at the level of astral body and causal bodies. Because there are also some agencies of the negative power which are working side by side as these are working whole here in this world, that in this year, these three worlds, there's no world enjoyment or peace. A continuous flow of 
Uh, the suffering is there in this, uh, all the three worlds, without kingdom of God and God. But when we come in contact with God and kingdom of God, then everything is wonderful because all these uh, trouble giving agencies are driven out of the house. This is house of God. God takes charge of it. And all the snakes or scorpions or other poisonous things or dangerous things are driven out by God because God is powerful than all them. And it's also not feeling like accommodating anybody because two opposites cannot stay together. Fire and water cannot stay together. Either fire will be no more or water will be no more. And that if there is a light, you cannot find darkness. Both cannot live together. Is there somebody in peace? And suffering cannot be there. If suffering is there, peace cannot be there. Because these are two opposites. And this world is generally made of two opposites, one after the other, one after the other. We are shifting, we are tainting. Day into night, and suffering, and problems, and diseases. And that enjoyment is not there. Peace is not there. Only the sufferings they change into each other. And when we are in the kingdom of God, then you may try your level best that you may find any suffering, any problem, any worry or any disease, you will never be able to find any kind of worry, problem, disease or suffering because this cannot enter in that area which is so strongly charged with the positive power of God that any such like agency which can create any problem or suffering or disease to you, uh, they are never allowed by God this yes, because He is so strong over there. And that it is naturally that God is really strongest. And where there is God, only God will be ruling. Nothing else, else can have any kind of control over there, and you cannot even exist over there. There is no compromise even that as one can at least stay over there. No, it has to leave the place. It is only one person who is to, to stay over there, and that is ourselves, our own friend, our own kingdom, and our own peace, and our own enjoyment, everything, our own lifestyle. And that has been given to us that seek the first kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. That if you find kingdom of God, God is already there in it. And then everything will be added unto you, given to you. As in the body of the mother, when the child is being made, who is maker? Who is being made? Who is being made doesn't know anything. Who, in whose body the child is being made don't know anything. That mother is not making the child, father is not making the child, that child is not making its own self. Then who is the maker? Everything was made by him. There was nothing made that was not made by him, the maker, father, God. And when the child is born, the milk is also produced the same moment that the child is born because God knows that I was feeding the child inside, making the child inside, and now when the child is outside, I am responsible even now. And then the teeth come up, then the food is also there, air is also there, water is also there, and that we, as the child is growing. But is all element of God and we are to come in contact with God and kingdom of God inside so that we are fully uh, growing not only in physical body as our parents or worldly arrangements can help us in growing the body. But what is our real self? Because we are not body, body is dust thou art and to dust it, and thus it is our garment. It is our clothing, it is not us, we are souls. And that soul is to be nourished side by side. It is more important, body may not be nourished properly, let it be body still weak, 
body is still uh, not so much healthy. But if your soul is healthy, soul is strong, that is sufficient. And because you are to live as soul in the kingdom of God and God, and after some time you leave the physical body. There are some people who are born blind, who are born deaf, who are born dumb, don't matter. Because this body was to enjoy with all these uh, provisions of the organs, but if it is not enjoying, doesn't matter, but you are at least enjoying. At least you are enjoying. And you will be going on enjoying forever, for eternity, and body will at least at last be no more to you. It will not be there. And rather, it arranged like this, that body has been given only to you as soul, that you are to grow in the body and not, not remain in the body. You are not remain in the body. If you go to the airport, you do not go to live in the airport, to stay in the airport. You only go for the riding on your aeroplane. If there is no aeroplane, then what is the use of going to the airport? If there is no God and no your own life in this body, then what for the body is there? Body is only meant for the purpose that in this human body, you will find yourself as soul and that yourself will be found in the kingdom of God and with the arrangement of God. Because till now these three are now together, there is no soul and soul cannot exist. And this is the reason that we are not existing as soul, we are only existing as this is suffering body. Because we could not come in contact with the with God and, and soul. And what is the blessing of the Master that He uh, awakens us as soul, brings us out of the control and the uh, limitations of the mind and matter, and takes away all the curtains from us, and we are awakened and we find in front of us God and we find ourselves in the kingdom of God, and we begin to live. That is the start of our life, that we begin to live as soul. We see with the soul, we walk with the soul, we enjoy with the soul, we fly with the soul, and never we are to die, because there is all arrangement of life. Where there is life, there is no death. It is eternal. That is only to that one which is already dead. This body is not having life. As if it is a car, the driver is a driver of the car, and you say the car is moving, working, and going this way, going that way, back or forward. But it's not car who is working in any way. It is only driver who is a driver of the car, who is working on the car, and the actions of the car are going and the car looks like working or doing something. But when the driver comes out of the car, everything stands still. And it will not be able to move even a millimeter. And it will stay over there and will rot over there and nothing will be there. It is nothing. It is only garbage. It is only wreck. All scrap no life in it, all dead. The same way we find ourselves even daily, that now we are feeling ourselves living. We can see, we can hear, we can walk, we can talk, we can work. But who is working? Who is talking? Who is moving? Is this body? No, body is being used by the soul, part of the soul, and the soul is using the body and that body is looking like working. But when the soul withdraws its attention from the working seat into the level process and disconnects itself from the body, then the body is lying like dead, as in the time of sleep. No doubt you cannot find any body, you cannot feel any body or anything if you are in the wilderness, if you are somewhere outside, and if you are inside, on the bed or somewhere, 
and you do not feel even your existence if you are existing or not totally annihilation you do not exist at that time consciously and that after some time when again the soul comes up and takes its own working seat then again it extends all this life consent whole of the body in each cell and then each cell is living then what is life life is not in the body that when life was withdrawn from the body body was not able to live it was lying and the same thing happens at the time of what we call death of the physical body that the soul which is over here then it does go down but goes out of the body and silver cord which is connecting our soul with the body is broken and never comes back and this moment the soul leaves the physical body at once the distant integration of the body starts and just at the same moment if you feel like looking at the face of the dead person you will not be able to look it becomes so frightening so horrible what has happened it is same body to whom we are kissing to whom we are loving to whom we are hugging and we are having our relations but now when the body is without the soul without the life now you can not love that body you can not hug that body you can not kiss it but you are feeling like frightened afraid of it and just will cover the face of that dead person our whole body of the person and will not feel like looking at it and will arrange it to dispose of the body as quickly as quickly as possible not even for some hours we will bear the presence of this body because now it is so horrible you cannot keep it who was keeping it so wonderful so nice so beautiful it was that agency of the soul which was there which was keeping it nicely if you are living in some house you keep the house nice wonderful and everybody will like that house but if the house is left by you and some neighbors or children they just destroy everything make the house a poor totally fuss nobody will like it everybody will feel like running out of it in the same way our housekeeper is our soul and when soul is there in it everything is just going on well eyes can see hands can work the like them walk and all organs inside and outside are going on nicely but when we are absent then nothing is there the body is nothing what is the value of the body that is the net value of the body that when the body is without the soul you cannot keep it it is not your friend it is your not relative it is your not family member it is to dispose of somewhere at to bury it somewhere that you never more can see it and some country it is burnt also that totally dispose it of why we don't feel like having even a look of it because it is so ugly it is so horrible this is the value of the body why we are now enjoying the value of the body it not due to the body what is in the body is this bulb is bulb is there is burning shining it not due to the bulb it is the electric supply of electric current power you will draw the electric current and what will be there nothing then you will not say it is a bulb it is have any use it will be some kind of garbage you will try to dispose it of because it is no more useful it is only useful when that useful power was there growing through it so this is the net value of the body it is not only nil in its value but negative in value it will only be troubled some it had been troubled some and it has now again we come to the sum it will remain to the sum so if we destroy it after leaving the body by the soul then why should not be 
come out of the physical body and end our sufferings and begin to live as soul with our own father mother and in our own kingdom which is there designed by god that you are to live with this this is your property this is your family and this is your living place seek the first the kingdom of god and everything will be added unto you but why we are insisting to live in this world in this physical body what is the reason hey can't hey be feel like enjoying but this is a misunderstanding in us that there's no other life only this is the life and whatever it is what cannot be cured has to be endured this is our way of working or living in this world but anybody you go to and ask is it okay everything is satisfactory then he will open out all this story of suffering problems for his what kind of disease he has got and what is problem from these children what are the problems from brothers or sisters there are problems of the businesses or the jobs and everything is a story and story long story of suffering and you also if somebody come to you and he asks you how are you what is meaning of asking how are you because there can be some difficulty there has to be difficulty and therefore we have to ask how are you suffering <laughs> we don't say suffering but we only say how are you <laughs> we take a one word out, out of it <laughs> so really we mean by like that and that automatically that person will start telling the history of sufferings but if you go to god then you cannot say how are you you cannot say how are you he was ask you how are you <laughs> he will ask you how are you but he will also not ask how are you he will say my dear i am sorry that i have fed you with everything equipped you with everything and as i have sent messages and messages to the masters and they also left their holy message through their scriptures but you could not understand my message what i have been sending since the world began as is, as he speak to the mouth of the holy prophets who have been since the world began and is it, is it that if we neglect this message that we will be able to go along with our life it not possible so what we are enduring at some time it will become unendurable and that the son people are then is sometimes or sometimes are committing suicide even and that hey, if we become old then we become so weak and we are so much having diseases and problems and that we are suffering so much that we pray to god my dear i cannot now live and take me now away there are some people who are suffering with some kind of incurable disease i have also seen some persons suffering with paralysis and there is really no uh, uh, remedy to paralysis and also aids or some other diseases are there which are also incurable and what is now the remedy for them as per worldly uh, solution is only death the only uh, way death that that will release us it means death is really something which will release you in what way death is friendly to us because the body which is cause of suffering and which is suffering that will be taken away and we will get rid of this curse isn't it like that that body is cause of problems the body and suffering and diseases and at some time it becomes really an uncurable unbearable and then only death which is the process that body taken away from us and that we feel ourselves lead why don't you do it now because at that time of death when we leave this physical body 
then we are also losing not only physical body but after god and kingdom of god in it and we are again lost in the quagmire of mind and matter but now when we are in this physical body then we are not to love our physical body but love our father god and our kingdom of god more than we love anything else of this world or our physical body it is not that we are to ignore the body we are to live with the body in our families in our jobs in our businesses and other relations are there these are not to be ignored not to be neglected because if you ignore or neglect this physical life it will also create some problem but add something to it that if there are children in the house and mother is there father is not there who is earning hand there is problem but if father comes he will bring all blessings and whole the family will be happy so father has not come to create problem for us or difficult difficulty for us but he has come as a blessing without whom we were suffering only so this life is there of the physical body and the physical world but in the absence of god and kingdom of god it is unavailable it has become a curse but with the introduction of god and the kingdom of god everything will be blessed and i think we working wonderfully there will be no disease no problem no worry no suffering no death everything will be all light all life all knowledge all wisdom all peace all glory all competency everything will be what is godly what is heavenly what is wonderfully all will be available to us and all that was a problem for us that is all taken away driven away that is really what is there and it is not some kind of fairy story that i am telling to you that there was a uh, king and there was a queen there was a prince and there was a princess all died <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing is there all died <laughs> i am not attacking you of something which is to die and there is nothing else all the princes will die all the kings will die all the queens will die all that everything will die but the grass fadeth and the flower of it withereth but word of god lives for ever no doubt the grass is looking nice but it fades away Withered the way, and flower is also very wonderfully, but it also withered the way. But there is a word of God which lives for us, for us so beautifully, so wonderfully. So you may be enjoying for some time the grass and the flower of it, but it will not give you any lasting uh, comfort or peace or some beauty or glory. But I connect you. our father god has ordered us ask that to be connected to his word god but word of god lives forever with all his competency all his powers and all his knowledge and wisdom and that you are given all free it is already there and you do not pay for that will not earn it if he just a child of a king will find a kingdom we can be a king but if you feel like that i am to be president of us or canada or any other country you can not with any of your efforts you will not be because there is no provision for you but you can become god because you know now god is with you and god is with you to make you god and he has already uh, given all these things you are only to be grown up the child when it is born cannot be made king it has to grow for the, up to the age of 20 years or 25 years and when the child is really physically grown up intellectually uh, uh, trained and so much some perfections and how to hold the kingdom or training and all the experiences given to the child and that now he can work as successful king after the father 
then the father will hand over the kingdom to him that now is my deserving child and he will be able to work nicely and wonderfully successfully this is the qualification which we are to find other god is already there and kingdom of god is already there perfection is already there but we are not ready we are to be ready and that is lacking in us and that so many people of you so many dear ones of you have already been connected to god that please be ready please purify yourself clean yourself and that enjoy it even your own bed if it is your own bed in your own house you cannot step on the your bed if you are all dirty you will have to clean yourself until you are uh, suitable for uh, laying down on the bed then only you can uh, uh, possess your bed if, even if it belongs to you but if you are not suitable to it you will last so not feel like having it because you are not fit for it and you will not avail it you will and uh, make your dirt bed your also dirty and it will not then be enjoyable to you so let the bed be clean and clean your and then you will be able to enjoy the clean and neat and tidy bed everything so till you are not deserving you cannot avail it you cannot enjoy it that is law and that is also law in god that whatever you deserve at once it will be given to you whatever you deserve you are not to ask for you are not claim for but it will already be given to you because god is there looking for, uh, upon us so anxiously so anxiously that now he can't be read one millimeter he, he feels like looking at that can he be read a little millimeter more above the uh, suffering of fires of suffering when we are letter ready again at once he will raise us one millimeter even millimeter by millimeter if we are preparing ourselves we will be going on raised up as that we are not to ask god that uh, i am not little qualified to one to raise myself one centimeter one meter and that please give my place which i deserve for no that is not to be asked because it's not your purpose that you are to raise yourself and you are to qualify yourself it is purpose of the only god he loves us more than he loves himself and and he takes care of us more than we take care of ourselves he know how to bless us and how to purify us and how to make us free of suffering problems and worries we also feel like but he feels more than us and he knows the ways and means also as you can not help yourself to get rid of diseases but doctor knows he will give you the precautionary measures and also the medicine and if you go along with his instructions then naturally you will get rid of your disease in the same way god knows all about us and he feels like he is releasing us of all the sufferings and to shower all kind of blessings upon us and if we go along with his instructions which are there available from the master his directions and also his help practical help theoretical and practical both helps are they are available to you and then you are really Uh, helped and you will be able to enjoy there will be no difficult no problem to you so this is not a message that it is from me it is from god and it had been since the body began and it is unchangeable permanent there had been no other way if you also go through scriptures any scriptures of any religion don't be uh, short sighted or limited but have brought my dentists all the masters who came here in this world they had a god message and god was working in them there might be some which may not be from god which may be sent by net power also there are well but i am talking of all those masters who came from god 
and that what is uh, the measure which we can judge that who is from God, who connects you to God. If I have acquaintance with the president of uh, U.S., I can take you to him. And if I say that I have acquaintance, I know him, you will not believe. But when I take you over there, and he receives you, and he greets you, then you would come to know that I have some approach to him, and that my approach has helped you, and you will be able to enjoy him. Then you will believe that I have connection with the President of U.S. Similarly, if I connect you to God, that is the only way that you may feel like that I have approach to God, I know God, and that I have also authority to not only be connected myself, but to also purify and make others deserving, and after making suitable for finding God and kingdom of God, I can connect you also. That is really wonderful. And that you need, I was also in my life searching for uh, this great uh, uh, destination of life. As I have gone through so many scriptures from the early life, but I tried so many, so many ways and means, but I could not find it. Because the law basic which was there, which I could not understand, I wanted to do with some kind of my efforts, which were designed by some kind of people of this world, maybe some little wise people also. But the law is there that till God, where there is God Himself, is not there to help you. Nobody else can help you. Then I was directed by and go to my master, and that uh, still I was very much skeptical because I had gone through so many saints and masters which could not work, and that I was feeling that he might also be not of the same category which I need. I got initiated from him, my master, and then worked upon his meditation for about six months, and then I could feel really it is working. And then I was satisfied and then I worked upon it still more and then found what was to be found. And then I was also given this authority that I may be approaching to you all the dear ones of the children of Father God and the, those who are yet suffering and those who are yet groping in the darkness and stumbling they may not be further stumbling and they may find the light of life and live forever in that light to enjoy, never to suffer again. So this is free gift from God and it is not from me, I am not to charge anything because what is free from your father, I am not entitled to charge anything out of it. If he, I am to be paid for my wages, he will pay to me because he has sent for me and he is responsible for me. I am only to serve you. And if you find my services, it will be obligation to me. And if you don't find, still I will run after you. Still I will run after you. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next year, maybe after two years again I will come. Maybe after three years again I will try. That I will go on trying, go on trying, go on uh, requesting you, requesting you. And perhaps you may come around and uh, find, uh, served, served, helped, find, helped, and that will be to my satisfaction. Only service is uh, the motto of God and motto of Masters, and to be served by Him only, by Him only is also your motto, not by anybody else. Nothing else is there in this world, only three words, or in creation of God who can help you. Is only God, and that master in which God is working, it can only help you. There's nobody else. So this is my humble submission to all of you, and I am thankful to you that you have paid attention to it and heard it quite patiently, and I hope that you will try to consider about it and will try to benefit it. Okay, thank you, my dear, for all this.
now for the information is also being given to you how to carry on further